What's up guys, Ojo is here again. This time I will show you how to install Parrot Security OS on Virtual Boss for hacking training. Okay, a little background here before we proceed. When I first got introduced to learning ethical hacking, the first operating system I was exposed to was Kali Linux. But after a while, I learned about Parrot OS and in my opinion, I believe it's the best alternative to using Kali. You know, Parrot OS was not only a computer I could use for ethical hacking, I could also use it as my day-to-day -day computer and quickly became my main and only OS on my computer at the time. So I absolutely love Parrot OS and I believe you guys will too. So right now I'm going to show you how to install Parrot OS on VirtualBoss on your Windows computers so that you can have another alternative aside from Kali. Here are the five steps you need to go through to achieve that and Without further ado, let me quickly step you through them. Now, I'm going to open this official website of VirtualBoss in a new tab to download and install VirtualBoss if you have not already done that. Then on step 2, I'm going to open the Parrot OS official downloads page on another tab. Now, when you come here, go ahead and select this to download the VirtualBoss binary for Windows OS or for Mac OS S. I'm not going to download this because I have this already downloaded. Now on the Parrot OS page, we have three options. The one I want you to download is this Parrot Security right here. Go ahead and download this. Of course, these three files are essentially the same thing, but go ahead and download this. This is the one we are using. I'm not going to download this file because I also have this downloaded on my computer right here. Now this is my Parrot OS ISO file. And this is my virtual boss file. I'm not going to show you how to install this because it's pretty easy and it takes less than two minutes. Just go ahead, double click it, and press next, next, next. Select yes on the warning interface, and virtual boss will be installed. Now, when virtual boss has launched, you will be presented with this screen right here. Now, these are virtual machines which I am already working on. If you are new to virtual boss, you won't have this. So, the next step is to create our Parrot OS virtual guest. Now to do that, click on tools and click new. I want you to click expert mode down here to bring up this one page dialog where we specify all the details for our Parrot OS guest. Now the first thing is to give this machine a name. For this, I'm going to give it Parrot OS, give it whatever name you wish. Now for the type, it's going to be Linux and for the version, we have Debian 64 bit. Now, if all you have here are 32 bit options, then it simply means you do not have virtualization enabled in your Windows BIOS. I'll leave a link in the video in this description showing you how to fix that. Okay, now for the memory size, I have 1 gigabyte of RAM, which will just be fine to run our Parrot OS installation because Parrot is lightweight on resources. But I'm going to bump this up to about 4 gigs of space because I have enough, I have 8 gigs on this computer. Now you can go ahead and put yours to whatever you wish. So I want this so that the installation will be smooth for the purposes of this tutorial. Go ahead and create. Now for the virtual hard disk for this parrot, I'm going to leave this at around 30 gigs and I'm going to create. Now the last step I need to do is to click into settings and storage, click empty and click this disk icon here. Now create a virtual optical disk. What you're going to do is to click on add and locate where you have downloaded the ISO file for your Parrot OS. Click on that and choose. Okay, now we've attached the ISO file to this virtual guest and we've succeeded in creating our Parrot OS virtual guest. The next step is to install Parrot OS into virtual bus. Go ahead and double click this to start. Now, use the arrow keys on your keyboard to navigate to install. Press enter. Select install with GTK GUI. Okay, for the language, we will leave this selected as English. And for the country, United States is fine. And for the key map, American English is fine too. Okay. Now the installer wants us to set a password for the root user. The root user is the system administrative account. Now 
while i put a password here i'm going to just put this week password because it's, it's a virtual machine and i'll continue now we are going to set a user account which will be a non-standard user this is different from the root user we just set a password for now i'm going to give a name to this user i'm going to type strong code here go ahead and type whatever you wish now the username strong code is also fine for me i'll continue and i'll type the password for this standard user this is the standard user with, 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 with which we are going to log in it is different from the root user we created at first now for the time zone each time is fine go ahead and continue for partitioning the disk we're going to use the entire disk on guided mode press continue we'll leave all our files in one partition i'm going to finish partitioning and writing those changes to disk here we are going to select no because we do not want swap space and we are sure we want to write those changes to this now the system is we begin to install this will take a pretty long time for it to complete i'm going to be back at the end of this process finally the system has finished installing this took a pretty long while for that to complete almost 40 minutes or thereabouts okay now we are going to install grub we are going to select yes on this option and click continue we only have one hard disk we select that and we'll continue the installation has finally completed but let's go ahead and continue for the final script to end the installation after this is done the parrot os will automatically boot into the login screen if you got to this login screen it then means parrot os successfully installed on your virtual bus go ahead and sign in with this standard user you created okay now this is the first look into our newly installed parrot os i'm going to maximize this window right here and the first thing you would observe is that the resolution of this window is not full screen now we are going to fix that using virtual bus guest additions so this is the last step of this installation process let's go ahead and install virtual bus guest addition now to install virtual bus first of all we need to update this system and to do that, drop it to the terminal window and type in sudo apt update. Now go ahead and type in your password. Now you will see here the update failed miserably. And I intentionally left this to show you something because Paraclinus is famous for showing such updates. And the reason for this particular failure is due to the data I have here. I left the virtual machine a while and that's the reason why my date is out of sync with my host OS. So what you need to do is go in here and set this straight. Okay, now that I have set my dates correctly, let me go ahead and retry that update. Now you see that run flawlessly. Let's go ahead and install VirtualBus guest additions. Now the command for that is sudo apt install virtualbox guest x11. Press enter. Yes. Now, after all that is done, you need to reboot your system. Type in sudo reboot now. Okay, when the system comes back on, you might have this bizarre, I don't know, this weirdness the virtual machine is doing. What you have to do to fix that, just come in here into view and click on full mode, full screen mode switch to that and switch back out by holding the right control key and letter f now you see all that has gone away and now you can log in and enjoy your virtual machine on full screen mode all right guys that is it if you found any value in this video please give me a thumbs up it's been a joke easy see you on the next one